Hi, Shreya. Hi, friends. Hi, and Colin. And welcome to another episode oh. of People Also Ask. So we just posted the video in which we covered the best asset protection strategies. Shreya was there for that. Shreya just had a walk in the rain, so she's a little wet. Oh, over yeah. Here. Oh, wait. Other side. Yeah. <laughs> As you may know, after we address that question, we pop it into Google and see what other see what else other people are asking. It's it, it's as if we would have a call in show, but we have no callers. Right. So maybe no listeners slash watchers. Yeah. Stay in the frame, baby. Come oh, sorry. Here. So we plug it in to get these questions, and we got them up here today. And yeah, I think this works. It's um, it's a lot of the same things. So let's just get into it, Shreya, and chat. And okay. But before we do. Okay. Um, you know something that we didn't address in that video? What? I think is the difference between strategy and tactics. And I am guilty of conflating the two. Oh, okay. Is that the right fancy word? Yeah, that is the fancy word for it. I, I mix those words up and mm -hmm. sometimes I use them interchangeably where I shouldn't. For example, you know, we're talking about all these different tactics. There's thousands of tactics right. to accomplish your goal. So I think mm -hmm. overall in that video, the distinction is that there's a couple of main strategies that I see. One is to merely discourage lawsuits from happening, make them go away, make right. them never happen in the first place. And the other strategy is... To survive a judgment. Yeah, so not only discourage them, but survive a potential judgment against you so you don't have to hand over all your assets to a creditor. Yeah. So and those are the strategies, but the tactics to get there can be various. So if you look at the first one, what is the best way to protect assets? Well, I think I can answer for you, Colin. Well, first of all, again, you got to know what your strategy is. Yeah. Are you wanting to just discourage lawsuits or do you want to survive a potential judgment against you? And I personally, I want to survive. I want my strategy is to have the best protection with the easiest plan to maintain. That's my I strategy. I know the answer. We're not going to just plug our prep trust, which is the best tactic. No. Um, yeah, it's, it's something that we made... I was going to just say trusts, generally. Oh. Why weren't you going to plug my amazing prep trust? Well, because I didn't want to plug her product. Right. It's to accomplish that strategy, the strategy that I like. What is the best way to protect assets? Yeah, I think you're right, Shreya. Trusts. Yeah. If, if you want to survive that potential lawsuit, that potential judgment against you, yeah, the Asset Protection Trust, the Offshore Asset Protection Trust, mm -hmm. I think is the best way. If you just want to discourage discourage lawsuits, yeah, LLCs, but this is also in addition to like insurance, all these other things that you do first before yeah, you treating even... your business like a business. Yeah, there's so many things. There's not just one best way to do it. Mm -hmm. God, we like said one thing and then said another. Did we? Sort of. I don't know. The best way to protect assets is through trusts. But before or the while... Best, the best way is with the right tactics to accomplish yes. your strategy. Oh, I like Ooh, it. Let's say that oh. then we can have it in a good clip. The best way to protect your assets is utilizing the proper tactics that will accomplish your, your goals. strategy. Oh, man. Number two. How do I protect my personal assets from a lawsuit? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, you do that by creating barriers, layers, obstructions between a stupid lawsuit and your stuff. You want to make it harder for them to, to take get your, your stuff. Oh, I thought to we were gonna find your stuff. I thought we were gonna sink again. Say against your assets. Mmm. Nope. I was I was doing my own thing. Yeah. There's a lot of ways, mm -hmm. but that's the basic idea is to 
remove the financial incentive for somebody to sue you in the first place. I do feel like we're on a little talk show here, Shreya. Okay, next caller. Oh, John from Ohio asks, what is the best trust to protect assets? Well, I'm happy you asked that, John. The prep trust. I'm gonna delete your plug of us. The best way, <laughs> the best trust oh, no. is an offshore mm -hmm. asset protection trust. Wait, 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 let's back that up. I am assuming this person wants to protect their own assets during their lifetime. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a big caveat, right? Like, right. what if you just want to protect them after you're dead for your kids? That's a different type of trust. It so is a different type of trust. The best type of trust will depend on what your strategy is. Again, man. Goals. What your goals are. Yeah. Yes. Goals, strategy, tactics. Yes. For a person who wants to protect their own assets during their lifetime and they still want to use them, they don't want to just give them away to someone, mm -hmm. that would be an offshore asset protection trust. All right, Shreya, we're on to our final question. Why are assets protected? Why are assets protected? They are protected. So that you can't lose them. Oh, that's an interesting take on it. Yeah. Okay, so you're seeing that as why are they protected? They're protected so that you can't lose them to stupid lawsuits. Yeah. That's why assets are protected. How did you see it? I took that question as why are they protected? They're protected because, I don't know, you have them in an LLC or mm. you no longer own them in your personal name. Oh, that's true. So you're creating these entities and barriers to um, ownership where you remove yourself. Yeah, and that's, and that's why. That's why they're protected. No, no. It's more of how they're protected. Yeah. I'm thinking it, that you protect them because you don't want to lose them to stupid lawsuits. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Why are assets protected? Because you don't want to lose them to stupid lawsuits. That was an interesting one. Kind of all the same questions. These are very broad questions. Mm -hmm. and answering these questions, I think we are taking it from the approach of what we do. And yeah. And who we talk to and what those goals are. This could be taken in an entirely different way. Actually, in the last, uh, people also ask, mm -hmm. you know, I realized one of the questions was like, are do asset protection trusts protect people in divorce, something like that. And I took it from the opinion of someone who's like, mm, I'm about to get a divorce. Mm -hmm. Let me see what I could do to, you know, put my assets in a trust. But I did not take it that way. Right. Maybe it's, maybe it's two people that had prenups or maybe it is a parent talking about their child being protected from a divorce. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, Take it with a grain of salt, mm -hmm. I guess, is what we'll say, because you know, we got our filter on it as we talk. Yeah. As we take these questions from Google. Mm -hmm. Hey, guess what? If you've got some questions, put them down in the comments below, and then yes. we can throw these in, in addition to our Google questions. You could be one of the people who also ask 